Welcome to the Football Today podcast. It is Tuesday, the 21st of May. Special episode talking all things A-League with the grand final coming up this weekend. But also, it is International Football Week here in Melbourne. Yes. Before we get on to that, make sure you subscribe to all of our podcasts across our YouTube channels as well. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and X, Football Today AU. Leave us a review on Spotify, five stars, Apple Podcasts, all that good stuff, please. Honestly, please. <laughs> anyway, I am joined, as always, on the Football Today podcast by Marcus Barza. I know he's yes. repping the uh, Atletico Madrid Spider-Man. I Spidey. love it. One of the best kids of all time. Yeah. Yeah. And stats guy found Marcus's spare Lazio jersey on the <laughs> I, mean, side. This, uh, I think it fits me better than him, so I might yeah, have to give him actually does. Your yeah. skinny arms. Yeah, yeah spaghetti yeah. noodle arms. Yeah, yeah. we're we working well, yeah. <laughs> And I'm in my uh, Mbappe PSG shit, which I should Boom. throw out. Even <laughs> no one knows it's got Mbappe on the back. That's anyway. nice. Uh, anyway, we are here to do football today. Have a chat about basically what's coming up this week here in Australia. Given that, Ange Postacoglu lobbed into Australia yesterday afternoon. Gerald actually saw mm. a few of the players, uh, which I'm, I'm hoping that we can... I would love to see Sonny or Ange just walking around. They were just walking around near our office, actually, so we'll have to try and scope Gerald, out if they're around. Why yeah. did you say anything? <laughs> he was, I was talking to him before about that. Yeah. <laughs> Gerald actually went to the lunch and he got a free invite. Like, we're, we're, a we're talking about it that I would love to see Sonny. He's like, oh, if I saw Sonny, yeah. get a big autograph, a big, nice photo probably, or something. They'd probably be walking around today. They are, yeah. They'd be at like the Hilton or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they go for a team walk, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. they've got an open training session across the road at 6 p.m., yeah. So it's pretty cool. So watch out yeah. if you're in I mean, Melbourne. I'm not paying 10 bucks to go watch Tottenham train. To <laughs> like you can pay me to stay. You're watch That'll like Ollie Skip train for 10 bucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, we usually we always start off this show with a yeah nah, and Statsman has written it in today. Oh, go on. I've got a man. Nice. Yeah, uh, was Ange's first season at Tottenham a success? Yeah nah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, um, without Harry Kane, that's sixty percent of their goal source from last season. Obviously finishing fifth. Yeah, into yeah. Europa League. Yeah, they like, didn't quite match Champions League with no. Aston Villa so the, their poor end of the season has to be looked at and I think that's just Ange the fitness wise it wasn't great yeah. running into the end of the season but yeah. I say it's a success, uh, success. nah <laughs> what a surprise the Arsenal no, fan they were unbeaten in their first 10 games they're yeah. the first team in the history of the EPL to go unbeaten in their first 10 games and miss Champions League therefore yeah. it is a fail I think I, I understand what you're saying with that, but I Everyone think hindsight was talking is a. Them up going, they're on track with the Invincibles. They, has Ange fixed Tottenham no, before the season? They Tottenham weren't. are still Tottenham. They are Spursy, and they Spursied it up in the last week of the season. But <laughs> at the start of the season, when you go know Harry Kane, they had no money yeah. to spend. Ange comes in as a they, new coach. Wait, wait, wait. They had a hundred million to spend. Stats guy. No, they didn't. And then they, and then they were the, one of the only teams to spend money in January. All I'm saying mm. is at the start oh, of the season, if someone said they'll go from eighth to fifth, I think that's a success. In without terms of Harry Kane, without 60% Harry Kane. of their goal source. Yeah. Sticking with nah. Yeah. Oh, right, also right. hilarious. That's Harry Kane ended up running third in the Bundesliga. The yeah. fact that, yeah, no, he didn't even <laughs> get that. But also he had a phenomenal season. Yeah, he okay. broke so many records. Yeah. yeah. Still didn't get played for the season over there too. Didn't he? Oh, yeah, well, Ritz did. I mean, yeah, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. Worth, yeah. yeah. So anyway, we roll into that with uh, <laughs> Newcastle. <laughs> Ritz, a bit risky. Uh, Newcastle United, Tottenham Hotspur, tomorrow night. So this is Tuesday as we're recording. Tomorrow night at the MCG, 7.45 p.m. Do we know what kind of crowd we're going to get there? Surely it's at least uh, 60. I think it's going to be a fair crowd because I think most of MCC sold out. That's the only thing I'm going off. And then, and then most of like, Level all of level one was like sold out, so okay. it would just be interesting to see how many how many people on level Probably seventy. Yeah, seventy. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I say I think anything under sixty is a bit awesome. Of a, yeah, is not kicking good. the teeth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So let's get down to the, the it's important a bit weird, stuff yeah. for this. Sometimes, sometimes this season ended Monday at three a.m. Australia time. Yeah, mm -hmm. by seven a.m. these players were getting on a flight to come to Australia. Mm. It's weird. It so is a little twenty bit. hour flight, but. I, I I heard people say, oh, they're going to be jello and all that. They literally have the they'll just be asleep in their little private rooms on their private jets and things like they're that. They'll be okay. Business, business, business. Class, they'll yeah. be like, it's not like a we're just going on a plane and day after we're going to play. Like they'll be okay still to play, but it is weird when you're taking your whole squad. I'm very happy. Mm. As not a, the as whole a, squad. There's mo most squads, of their like yeah. full strength team. I'm very happy as an Aussie going to the game, getting to see at least some of the guys come off the bench. I reckon Sonny might come off the bench. Madison. Sure, Madison Qual is going to play for Newcastle. Qual is locked into play, so that'd be very exciting as well. Cool. Yep. But it is weird that. Couple of days after, like, are they doing this as a bit of a, a trip as well? A bit of an end of season these trip. Ones, Dosh, these and ones, and it's also with money, of course. Yeah, doing these ones. Yeah, doing doing 100%. the uh, Seymour Skinner. Oh, <laughs> yeah. he's talking about the money. Surely, yeah, tourism Victoria's kicked in a bunch of money for yeah. this. Like similar it's to good what for West Australia. Australia. Yeah, I like it. No, no. So I don't like it that it's happening now. That it's Fair happening enough. three days after the yeah. season. If, I, I'm close to hating it because I'm also thinking. The FA has gone. Oh, we're going to cancel the FA Cup replays because player load is bad. Yet. We're doing this three days after the season, before the Euros, before the Copper America, before yeah. the Olympics. Yeah. We're complaining about players' load, yet we're flying them halfway around the world 
for Newcastle and Tottenham playing a glorified friendly and then for Newcastle to play again on Friday night. Great yeah. for Australia. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's yeah. great to, that Australia finally gets some good football out here. Yeah. Perth's had a couple of games. I remember I saw Arsenal. It feels like a decade ago. I saw Real Madrid yeah. Juventus a couple yeah. of times. Celtic yeah. came, came Liverpool, here. Celtic Liverpool I went came to. out here once. That's not mm. out. But that was pre-season. That was happening in like July. Yeah. yeah. Tottenham are going to Asia. Like they've locked in to go to South Korea in their pre-season. Awesome. Like, Sunny, Sunny will not be able to go anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be like, pretty crazy over there. Okay, it's great, but it's also like surely we could work this out to have yeah. it at a different yeah, time. I feel I feel bad for the players who Same are here. participating in Euros. Oh, especially the poor players! Oh, we're gonna well, millions like, and they're millions literally of getting dollars. We're talking about all the no injuries that have time. happened, and it's like okay, fair enough. I understand that you got to play three times a week in the season if you're playing Champions mm. League and Prem, but then to come to Australia and it's like. What are we doing? Yeah. It's going to yeah. be great. Like it's It'll be good for us, like but I they, know what you're saying too with the players. The players so. don't get a break between if you're not a now good, and the Euros because no, they're coming to Australia. If you're not a good player, you get a big break. You get Even players that are playing for their country get more of a break than the average worker, correct? Yeah, but you, they're you, also yeah. getting they get, paid hundreds of thousands exactly, of dollars. Exactly. So I don't feel bad for them. I don't you know what I, mean? I don't yeah. feel bad for them in season when their workload's high, but something yeah. like this- I is, get it to do with family and stuff like that. Which is weird because usually I'm like, shut up and do your job. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd be on my side of that one. In preseason, but not postseason. This, right. this is you are allowed a month off. It's like it's dust, also, yeah. I feel like you've I've, got a tournament to play. Mm. I feel like you know this could be a good opportunity during international breaks. Say your international players go off. Yeah. Why don't you just come to? Don't have to come as far as Australia, but go to different countries. Like Arsenal, go to Dubai and play a friendly against someone from their local league. Even though all the big names aren't there because they're international games, it still keeps players match fit. People um, still rock up money to the also, games. But it's mm. also like you don't play games because. It, you take that load out of your legs. You can get a conditioning block in as well. Yeah. You can recover from any little niggles. Mm. So I understand. Mm. It's it's weird. There's there's well, there's more football happening next year with the Champions League and the Europa League changing up. So yeah, that's there is a lot, gonna, lot more happening. They're going to have no break because coming to Australia, then well, Euros, the last, and then the Euros finishes, and well, then they so got think, three weeks. But, till but think about it. It's the last two years because of the World Cup as well. Yeah, yeah. It's been it has been full. So I'll give like you that. Erling Haaland, who's a cyborg, hasn't had to do anything because Norway just don't qualify for tournaments. Exactly. Mm. So and then people like them are like, nah, bro, I'm good. I'm, I don't want to play for England. I'm going on <laughs> yeah. So it's fantastic. But uh, Friday night, Newcastle United take on the A League All Stars at Marvel Stadium. What do we think of the A League All Star squad here, guys? Like you're more across the A League yeah. than I am. I don't yeah. mind it. I feel like they've just gone a few players. Like, oh, if you're available, you're in. But then they've got a, a lot of yeah. They have can't they? have everyone. They can't have the grand final yeah. players, which is okay. a bit annoying. Yeah. No Marcus, central coast, no victory. Yeah, Marcus said Paul Izzo, obviously been dominating. We're talking to later. He, he would, would be in it, maybe, maybe. He would. He arguably it's either Alex Paulson or yeah, Paul yeah. Izzo. Okay, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, it's not a pretty exciting squad. And you got uh, a lot of young players in here too. A lot of young guys. Yeah, yeah. Really Alex wanted. Paulson's like well, he's Aaron really young. Is there just before he's like, hi Newcastle, I'm going to dominate you before I go to Bain. <laughs> <Yes>. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he will dominate in this yeah. game. Right? Yeah, like Nicholas Milanovic, he's a, a very young player, formerly Western United, mm -hmm. Western Sydney. So Courtney Perkins is still pretty yep. young. Um, so there's there's young players in here, but. Um, so this is the uh, curtain raiser to the Arsenal A League Women's All Stars. Yes, yeah. it is. I think the uh, which is which is fair because you've obviously got Oz and all are the draw card. Matildas are Australia's number one team, so that that is fair. But there'll still be a lot of people at this game. I know lots of people might only go to the, the second Newcastle, game. The Newcastle fan zone has sold out. Yeah, Newcastle and have fans all over the world. Newcastle Same as fans, yeah. good for you. Like you, you're getting to see your team twice. Like that's awesome. I'll yeah. be honest, I'm very jealous as an Arsenal men's course, fan yeah. as well. I'm supremely jealous. Also supremely excited to see the Arsenal women. Yeah, uh, which we'll talk about on Thursday's episode. So if yes. you're listening to this. Thursday morning, check it out. We'll be we'll be talking about that. Yep. Uh, grand final preview for the A League this weekend: Central Coast Mariners against Melbourne Victory down at the Central Coast. So, if you haven't bought tickets yet or got a flight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a hint: <laughs> fly to Newcastle. It's much cheaper. Oh, Melbourne yeah. and Newcastle, much cheaper than flying to Sydney. Did you used to work for a flight center? No, I've just oh. flown to Newcastle before and it's much cheaper. <laughs> nice, nice. Actually, yeah. You probably have flown yeah, there. I got mates that live in Newcastle. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. also look for flights in incognito mode. Cheaper. Yeah, Marcus is always in That's incognito. Always incognito. Anyway. Marcus <laughs> is naturally incognito. Anyway, <laughs> grand final preview. Tell me how the victory got there late oh in the game. Oh, my God. That was unbelievable. It was nil all for a long time. Paul Izzo saves another penalty in regular time. His final series has been unbelievable. Marcus yeah. and I saw that firsthand when he saved multiple penalties, including in the penalties uh, shootout. Yep. He's been unbelievable. This final. Saves another one. Silences the sold out uh, Wellington fans. They were not going mm. crazy. They weren't, weren't lifting their Great shirts Great crowd, up. by the way. Great crowd, sellout. We need more of that in football. Yeah, there was mm. both uh, A League games over the out. weekend were sellouts. Uh, but yeah, then victory scored, Traore's. He's only scored like two goals in the last couple of years and both yeah. were from outside the box. On the left, absolute banger, top corner. Uh, that was awesome. But then Central Coast fought back in and got it to extra time oh, until old, victory won. I mean, uh, Costa Barbarousas. Costa Barbarousas, the old victory player. Yeah. Yeah. Still such a good name. It is a great name, yeah. So this leads to all roads taking us down 
I think it's in Gosford, Central Coast, on yep. Saturday night. Yes. Saturday night. I'll double check. I didn't Sunday write that night? down. Sometimes I mess that up. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's a Saturday. I don't yeah. know why I didn't. But anyway, so Central Coast at home, they're going for technically a treble. We technically. Well, we're talking about it's that, a yeah. double. Like, Minus FFA Cup. Yeah, but the really? pre- because the Premier played... I don't count that. That's not really it. It's, like, it's yeah. like the Melbourne Demons have been minor premiers a bunch but never won a flag. Who they've cares? clearly been yeah. the like best they're, A-League team though because they've won an A. Obviously won the Asia Cup, Premier's played. For the last 16 and they months, they've, last they've been yeah. the benchmark of this competition. Yeah. The way that they run their business model works, the way they run the team works. The, right, yeah. the way they're bringing guys with last name Qual works. They, yeah. like, obviously, Garan, they've, Garan Qual came in and now <laughs> Alu Qual has probably been their best player it's in the second like half of the season. It's like Geelong finding De Konings in the AFL. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It just works. Exactly. Or Henry's. Anyway, so... Keys to victory. Who's winning and why? Oh, I always love talking about Paul Izzo. I think he's <laughs> going to keep him in the game. I think Central Coast will have more shots. They, they play very attacking through Alu Kual. He's He just sets mm. up so many of their shots yep. on, along the wing there. Paul Izzo is going to have a, a bit of work to do. Could this be a case for Melbourne victory of they've gone to the well so many times to get there that this is just that one hurdle too far? Maybe. Mm. They sort of take time to flick the sli- switch like when we saw them against City. They, but it's took like them a red card to flick the switch. But that's switch, what I mean. Yeah. They've funny. gone the full distance with City in that first yeah. game. They've played the two games and then the extra time here. Extra time, yeah. And whereas Central Coast, they're just like, yep, we're through. Yeah, yeah. Central Coast. But they, they, yeah. they, and Central Coast have played in Asia not too long before that as well. But mm. I think Central Coast win this. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to extra time, but yep. I don't think it's going to penalties. I think Central Coast will win it. Ooh, I'm going, I'm going Victor to win. I'm just having a look. Both of Central Coast's wins in those two semi final legs. Yep. Helped were helped with a Sydney FC red card. They did they did dominate the game and they're probably yeah. going to win anyway. Yeah. But if there's no red cards and this is pretty even, I think victory can eke out an extra time win. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to go with Central Coast just at home. I think also the travel factor in this as well. I know it's only to New Zealand, but also they've had to New go. New Zealand. To the world. They got Central Coast, mate. No, no, no. Oh, they went to New Zealand week. last week. So it's New Zealand yeah, yeah, yeah. and Sorry, home. Yeah, yeah. Like that's it, yeah. it all comes into it. It does, it yeah. does. Legs have got to be weary at some point. And if it goes to extra time, that's where Central Coast could get them. I think they win regulation time, probably like three one. Yeah, mm. no, that's very mm. cool. Mm. Yeah. There we go. That's it. Yeah, so that's it. That's that season done. Let's wrap up the EPL. It's oh, Alex doesn't really want to. I talk had about all of seventy eight <laughs> seconds of enjoyment on Monday at one o two a.m. <laughs> it wasn't yeah because it wasn't didn't um, Phil Foden, Phil Phil Foden, Foden score in the going, first two minutes. Phil, 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 <laughs> Eighty seconds in, Phil Foden just goes uh, what? <laughs> yeah, and ends ends it. It's just uh, oh yeah, let I wake up. Was, was that, inevitable. It was like it's you. Also, West Ham just sitting in the box, kicking the ball away. It was, it was great. I was, I was watching it, but it, like you, I never had the thought that Arsenal were going to – like. I'm just watching this because I know City are going to win the league. But I, like, had, eh. I had blind faith. Well, I had faith just as like I've seen miracles happen, but they're miracles yeah. for a reason. They yeah. happen once every 50 years. City, and, is, City don't drop those games. Yeah. So it's – okay. City have now won four titles in a row, six <laughs> of seven, but – Obviously, most in uh, Premier League history in a row. Yeah, but humongous asterisks. Yeah, 115 of them to be exact. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone actually know a, a Manchester City fan? Uh, Leo I, behind the camera does apparently. Well, I, I know I, one, but not like actually Jim does. Fan. Jim fan. Do, does. Oh, Remember, Jim's got his accent. Yeah. Yeah. accent. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> so there we are. Our, our boss, very Jim, rare. Though, yeah, yeah, has a. He's, I think he's Scottish or English. Oh, he's no. a Manchester English. City fan. So there's one. Um, my <laughs> partner's brother goes, but isn't like full enough. He yeah, just yeah. supports him. He's like, oh, yeah, he, yeah, I was like, why do you yeah. go for him? No, he's like, when I was six, I liked the blue. Oh, that's right. Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he liked the light blue. I guess that's what he saw they first. They were playing in Division 2 then, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they probably were, yeah. It's like 18 ben years ago. Was, yeah. So, yeah, it's a massive asterisk over it. And for me, it's just proven that, like, no one really hates Manchester City because they've got no yeah. real rivalry. They've just built it out of Saudi wealth. Like, Manchester yeah. United fans wouldn't care that they've won four in a row and beaten their record. They I'm sure they would. They, would, would, no, I don't they think would care would. more about Arsenal, yes. Liverpool, yes. Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Leeds, yeah. if Leeds yeah. did it. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's the same yeah. with Chelsea fans. Like you'd care more about us, yeah. Tottenham, United, yeah, than, yeah. than what's your word. It's just proven that no one hates Man City. Like the when you when late in the season, it's like we could screw up their title chances. No one's got that hatred of City to try and really step up, unless mm-hmm. it's like Sean Dyche ripping into Everton. Like that'd be sort of the only mm-hmm. one you could see doing it. So it's just like, oh yeah. Great. Well, well, there is there is rumors that they're going to get eighty points deduction next season. <laughs> just relegate him to league. <laughs> eighty two. points. Eighty points, but it looks which means they relegate. They will get relegated. Get yeah, yeah. But uh, if they get, uh, they need to get 110 <laughs> points, like 30 points safety. <laughs> yeah, okay, they're not going to um, get that. <laughs> but like with they their could. lawyers and stuff, that's going to get whittled down to like 40, 50. 
probably. Yeah, so we'll see. That's So that's due to go in October with the uh, findings then handed mm. down in January. So it goes into next season. Manchester City probably buy 17 players. They're going to buy Paqueta from West Ham and get even stronger. Probably bench him with the first six months. But it's fine. <laughs> you won't even start in that team. Um, no Could we talk about the goals in the final days? Oh, yes. my God. There were some screamers, screamers all like around Foden's, the grounds. Foden's goal was a screamer. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was fantastic. Same game, Kudus. Yep. Yeah, Kudus with the Kudus. overhead kick. The uh, scissor kick. I Moises Caicedo finally stepped oh, up to the plate and second, literally stepped up to the plate. The second longest Premier League goal in history. Behind was Wayne, it? Behind Sadio Mane? No. Beckham. Wayne Rooney. Oh, Wayne Rooney, uh, of course. Yes. Uh, yes. When he was at Everton. Yeah. We had the Jurgen Klopp farewell. That was beautiful. That got more TV ratings than I'm more pretty than sure double. than Man City. Uh, what okay. a shock that Which a is club funny. that has a massive following and love for a man <laughs> against a soulless built club out of money would get more views. Klopp's yep. teeth is why I swear getting wider. Like, I, mm. I couldn't look at him in the face. Because he's like hurting my ass. That's why he's got so a fake teeth. I think he's got fake teeth. Yeah. 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 Jagger uh, Silva shed plenty of tears with Bell Silva and his family. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There was, was a lot happening on the final day. There was a lot happening. Other I, I love City. the final day that it all happens at the same time. Like, there's just something that's always going on. It more was sports should do that. They won't. They Imagine won't. AFL yeah. with that, with the top eight this year. I reckon that, that'll be really close. What? Everyone's playing at the same time. That'd but be so cool. Well, like, but it's five not, teams at the same home ground, though. Yeah. So you can't oh, do it. Work. There's enough, <laughs> there's enough local guy, grounds. Stats guy Bring hasn't him down to my club, St. Bernard's. Stats guy hasn't there. worked, worked Bring him anywhere. logistics. Yeah. Bring him anywhere. Yeah. Um, anyway, quick snap thoughts. <laughs> Next season, who's going to win the title? And why is it Manchester City? Why um, is it Chelsea? Well, I'm saying Arsenal. No, nah, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you all right? Don't make his head bigger. Yeah, I'm going I'm <laughs> to... No, I generally think Arsenal. I think they can only, oh. they can only get stronger. Well, they've just come Depends. off their most wins ever in a season, most points ever in a season, most goals, least goals conceded. Yeah, but like City just do that for fun and get that. But like... I. Depends if Transfer you lose window. a couple of yeah key players. I think yeah. if Real Madrid come knocking for Saliba or oh no he's untouchable. Yeah, but he he would want to go to Real Madrid uh, over. He's French. Arsenal. It's not like he's Spanish. <laughs> he's it's French. Real Madrid. <laughs> it's yeah. Real Madrid though. Yeah, but it, it'd be it'd cost like hundred fifty million. Tell us isn't it in Zidane then? No, he's French. <laughs> well, we'll get him on the show. We'll get yeah, him on the show. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah but <laughs> I think so. Yeah, on, I think he's an untouchable. Yeah. Why not? Something different. I'm going Liverpool. I think they had a massive 10 week Ooh. period with no. I just don't want to pick Arsenal. See, Darwin Nunes, actually. He's, um, that's not he, took down, he, he that's deleted all of his uh, posts affiliated with Liverpool. So, yeah, and then when Klopp was leaving the other night when they did the thing, he was the only bad. player that's not clapping. See, the thing is, I feel Liverpool the hardest team to make a comment on because you don't know who's going to be there because yeah, Van Dyke. That's true. What happens if Real Madrid come calling for Alexander Arnold and then Mo Salah leaves and goes to Saudi? So there's three big players that could leave. They might not, mm-hmm. but it's also new coach, new system, as you've seen with Chelsea this year. Yeah, it takes a bit of time. It takes yeah. a bit of time. Same with Klopp's first I season. Know, I just think I they feel, got really good. I feel top four for Liverpool yeah. is a tick. Yeah. Winning is an amazing effort for Slot and he's oh, obviously yeah. been announced the new coach. It, I don't know if it is a tick. Also, I think it is because <laughs> you expect changes. I, 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 I don't know much. Too much about Arnie Slot. Well, he's a Dutch coach and he's bald, so he's potentially going to suck like Ten Hag. <laughs> <Yeah>, I, I don't <laughs> know. Like, <laughs> uh, Aston Villa, they're probably going to get a little bit better. But Aston Villa have to sell players for uh, FFP. FFP, yeah. You, Chelsea Tottenham have to sell have to, players. Tottenham have to be mm. better. Oh, geez, it's tough. Know. It's very tough. Yeah. I'm Obviously, gonna I'm going to say Arsenal, but the thing is, we all thought this was a flat Manchester City year, and they're probably going to win it again. Uh, they're going to win the double. Uh, unless they the get points the treble. Yeah, finally, FA Cup next weekend. Manchester City smash United, right? Yeah. You don't have to win to make Europe. You don't have to win to Lol. just n- and not have a whole embarrassing season. Also, shout out to Chelsea for making Europe League. Well yeah, done. we did it. Woo. Well done. Does, does Ten Hag lose or keep his job based on this game? I think. I think the decision's already been made. And that is? Go on. Go on. I think you could be right. Even if he wins it, two trophies two in two tro- years. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't it um, mm. Louis van Gaal was sacked after winning the FA Cup? Yeah, it but was. I think that was a bit different. They had like Zlatan, Alexis Sanchez, Pogba, yeah. like... Anyway, that's enough for this episode of Football Today. We have run a bit long there. But anyway, check out the Thursday episode coming out. We're going to talk about the Arsenal women taking on the A-League All-Stars, as well as what all the Arsenal, well, not all the Arsenal women, but what all the Australian women have been up to. The Matilda squad has been announced for the friendlies against China. Check that out Thursday morning. We'll get you all of your podcasts. Make sure you follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. Give us a follow. Give us a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Thanks, boys. Thank you. Trivia? No, next episode. Too late. <laughs> for, absolutely, too late. For, absolutely too forgot about trivia. We'll have two trivia questions relating to today's show and Thursday's show on the Ooh. Thursday show. You know what? I'm going to do it off the top. But for now, football today, done and dusted. See you Thursday. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today podcast, the Football Today podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.